Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome back to Let's Play Blackwell Legacy. Right, apparently I missed something, which is why I couldn't progress. I want to talk to you, Joey. What is it, dear? Uh... Can't you stay still? Huh? The way you float all over the room like that, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> you sound like my mother. You're just gonna have to get used to it, babe. Yes, so rude. How did you die? Excuse me? How did I die? Yeah. That's a bit of a personal question, isn't it? Is it? Yes! Sorry. Can you ever leave? Leave? What do you mean, leave? Leave. Get out of my apartment. Go somewhere else. What, don't you like me? Well, it's not that. It's just, well, what about privacy? I'll turn my back when you're in the shower, don't worry. And what about personal space? I'm a ghost. It's not like I take up any space. You know what I mean. Sorry, darling, no can do. I told you I can't travel far from my... hosts. I can go maybe 30 feet before something stops me. That must be annoying. Eh, it's not so bad now. After 25 years watching your aunt drool, this is like staying at the Ritz. So what can you actually do? Do? As a ghost. Any powers or anything like that? What you see is what you get, dear. I can float through walls as long as I'm still near you. But you can't touch anything? Not really. Not really? Well, you remember that breeze you felt when I manifested myself last night? Yeah. That's the extent of my physical presence. And this is what I missed. Neat trick, huh? Not really. Everyone's a critic. Not sure how I missed it, but... I think I... Yeah, let's... Yeah. So now we can go and pick up the notebook. Coming? Yeah, sure. And let's go do that. Come on. Yo, it's open. After you. Yo, it's open. Yeah. Can I use your phone again? Again? It'll only take a second. Fine. Yeah. Whatever. Hurry up. Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey? I like how I commented uh, she should get a Bluetooth device to talk to him and I totally didn't do this until much later. You performed a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah. I need you to work your magic on them. Uh... Sure, sure, I can handle that. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Nice one. Alrighty. So, congratulations, kid. You committed your first burglary. Is that what I just did? For the greater good, kid. For the greater good. That makes me feel so much better. Let's see what this notebook has to say. Looks like standard poli sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. The last set of notes in this notebook are pretty strange. I'd better take a closer look. Hey. Joan and someone. Susan and Alexander. Also the Davenport guy. Ali and apparently. <laughs> Ali was a slut for uh, Joan's taste or whatever. That's pretty mean. That's her ex, I'm guessing. Right. Can't hear the professor. I no longer care. He won't leave me alone. Can't concentrate. Alison is gone. Made her go. Susan is gone too, they won't let me see her. 
I'm the only one left. Right. So basically they were not possessed, at least uh, harassed by a spiritual entity. Joanne drew this picture of Susan and this guy and wrote Susan and Alexander underneath it. A boyfriend, maybe? Hmm. I think it's safe to say that these refer to the same person. Whoever Alexander Davenport is, Susan must like him a lot. He's either a boyfriend or something close to it. I wonder if I can go ask. Alexander Davenport have killed Allie? I'll just probably do this with everything. That makes no sense. Just in case. I don't see what one has to do with the other. Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. Uh. That's a. Reach. I wonder if this Alexander Davenport person has any connection to Joanne's suicide. You want to be a fourth friend? Wasn't the drawing male? That seems... Well, it's a stick figure, but that seems like a male compared to her other figures. There's nobody home. Yo, it's open! After you. Hmm. Why did we get yeah. the connection with Adrian? I don't understand there. Could I ask? You? Make a. Qu Do you know an Alex Davenport? No. Thanks Great. for helping. Yeah, sure. Thanks again. Whatever. I guess we'll go speak to Adrian too, since that's where we made the connection. But I think it's a connection, basically, just to realize that it could be a girl's name. I should also check my um, computer for it. Hmm. Hi, it's me. You have more- Yeah. I suppose- What do you- Do you know an Alexander Davenport? The name doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. Alright. Well, that's all. Thanks for help. Just remember, we- There. So well, let's see if we can, uh, find anything on the net. And Alexander Davenport was listed as being on the hockey team at NYU. It doesn't say anything else about him, though. But he was a male, all right. Cool. You coming? Yeah, sure. I'm not sure why that connection was made then. Hmm. I think it's creepy. Let's fix it. I'm not stealing stuff from the hospital. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you, you're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... <laughs> Blame the guard. I wasn't on the list at the time. I should be on it now. Oh, really? Well, let's check then. What was your name again? Ah, uh, alright. My name is Alex Davenport. That's why. Thank huh. you. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Thanks. Seriously, she's named Rosangela. That's pretty unique. I think you would remember the name. Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? He's not here. They told me... They told me he was coming. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I... It's okay. He doesn't want to see me, anyway. Who are you? My name is Rosangela. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? Uh, do I look like a doctor? No, no. I'm not a doctor. But I'd still like to talk to you if that's okay. Mm-hmm. So how are you feeling? Fine. That's all. Yeah, I'm fine. 
whatever. I'd like to talk to you about your friend Joanne. You know Joanne? He's sort dead. Of. What, what about her? Can you tell me about her? She's Joanne. That's all. Yeah, let's go to the person that tried to commit suicide and tell her her friend is Do dead. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne Susan? killed herself? She what? Just did. <laughs> oh, okay. She knew. <laughs> that was really... <laughs> Seriously, if she didn't know, that was a horrible way to deliver the news. Do yeah, you damn. know Joanne's roommate, Kelly? Yeah, sorta. No tact. Why? Oh, no reason. Do you know what happened to Allie? Yeah. Do you know why she did it? No. Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You do? Whatever happened, I believe you. He still comes to me. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, he enters my head and he won't stop screaming. I thought I was crazy, but Joanne and Allie, how could it happen to all three of us? It's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. The deacon is real? I believe so, yes. Are you here to help me? I'm going to try. Thank God. I was ready to die. Those buzzers. But... I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. Uh... We've already established. Okay. So what happened to you, Susan? What did the deacon do to you? The same thing he did to the others. Got into my head and just wouldn't keep quiet. It was just so noisy inside my head. I had to do something. I saw the speeding taxi and I just... Seriously? Couldn't you find the Here I am. less painful way? No. The driver hit the brakes in time. Taxi missed me completely. Then the stupid cop on the corner dragged me here. I can't even kill myself, right? Yeah, you suck at that. Can you tell me about Allie? Allie... Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. You couldn't help but smile with her around. She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so... different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. She loved dogs. She was studying to be a vet to take care of them. And now she can't. Mm. She... She was the first of us to go. Loves dogs. I'm Why guessing we'll have to... How come the strongest of us was the first to break down? Use the dog. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? Joanne wanted to save the world, but she couldn't even save her friends. After Ali went, Joanne couldn't take it. She blames herself, but it's not her fault. I don't blame her for it. Any of it. It was only luck that I ended up here and didn't die. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Yes. The deacon. He got in our heads. His voice keeps pleading, babbling. Nothing shuts him up. Just keeps going. I just wanted quiet. Peace and quiet. That's why Joanne jumped off the roof. She was willing to give anything to just keep him quiet. Seriously though. Life. There are much less painful ways to commit suicide than jumping off a building or stepping in front of a moving car. Was Kelly involved in any of this? Kelly? Joanne's roommate? Yeah. No. She always left when we came over. She didn't like us much, but that's okay. We didn't like her either. Can you tell me anything about Alex? Alex was my boyfriend, I guess. But since I came here, he won't see me anymore. Just as well. The jerk. <laughs> All right. Can you tell me anything else about Allie? No. 
Only that wherever she is. All right, we need to make a connection probably. I have to go now, Susan, but I'll come back to check on you again. Mhm. Mm the problem is even if we help even if we help Ali. Look, Joey, it's still... starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see that. Was it the darkness that gave it away? I'm just saying. I still doesn't help the Deacon problem. Huh. Oh. Just a small transistor radio. Why is he doing that? Joe. Shh. You want to start keep your. It's Joey. He. Yeah, right. Interesting. I wonder if that's a hint uh, about Deacon later on. Maybe. Seems like uh, something uh, that will be important. Talk I'm to pretty the ghost sure. again, Joey. Yeah, we have to sure, use the dog. Sure. That's why we got the treat. Hey there. Remember me? No. no. Maybe. Can you tell me anything else about Susan? Little lady wants. Can you tell me anything about? I even take a also nothing. Did you summon something with a Ouija board? Did I? That's why I'm. I hate. I'll never. Use and why? Because the di yeah, di right. I Damn. Nothing kids new. Kids in your. Don't worry. Look, just we'll figure. We need to bring the dog. This place always looked so normal. It's the same as ever, babe. Just instead of a living person in there, there is a dead one. The sooner you think of us ghosts as normal, the better. Hmm. These dog biscuits are really mushy. Dog isn't here, of course, so I'm not sure how we'll bring it. Maybe we'll need to come tomorrow morning or something. With the music. Come in! Welcome back, Rosa. Come in! In a different place now. Moti, behave yourself. Ooga booga. This is getting old. I, yeah, and we need a dog. It's so. all right. Don't worry about it. Here, boy. There's nothing to be afraid. I hope. See ya. Follow me. Yeah. Do you have to keep doing that to Modi? What, you going soft for that barking rat? Well, it's just not nice. Sweetheart, I take my kicks where I can get them. Don't ruin my fun. Only the dog, Jump. dude. Shh. Let's not a not a Hmm. Come in. I think we may need, may need to speak to him first about it. Hello again, I'm in. But let's try that treat. Go get it. Yeah, they go get it especially. See ya. I think we need to somehow Get there weapon. and use the. It's not even a chat. So why do that pooch and me? He keeps setting them up. And I okay. I think that's a hint that we need to talk to him about it. We need to get him there and then throw it in or something. <laughs> Whether it's a go get it option. Joey. I think. Yes, darling. We'll find out in the next episode. <laughs>
For now, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I will see you next time with more ghost stories.